Hello children welcome to the 10th standard english class in this module let's learn the paraphrase of the poem a tiger in the zoo by leslie norris in the first four lines we can see the tiger moves a few steps up and down in his cage the stripes of his body are of strong bright color the tiger moves quietly on his velvety pads he is full of rage but is quiet Looking at the imprisoned tiger the poet is filled with pity he says that the poor tiger should have been in his natural habitat then at this point of the night he would have been lying in the shadows of trees and sliding quietly through the long grass there near the water hole he would be waiting for some fat deer to pass that way thus he would be lying there in expectation of a heavy feast here the poet imagines what the tiger would be doing in case he failed to find any prey in his natural habitat he says that the tiger would be growling at the edge of the jungle near some village there he would be showing his white fangs and claws while moving here and there he would thus become a cause of terror for the villagers the poet here gives a hint that if we destroy the natural habitat of tigers they will be forced to turn to our towns and villages to find their food the poet sees the tiger locked in a concrete cell in the zoo in spite of all his strength he now lies imprisoned behind the bars very slowly and silently he moves up and down along the length of the cage he takes no note of the visitors who come to the zoo to have a look at him The tiger knows no rest during the day because of the visitors. Even at night, he remains disturbed due to the noise of the patrolling cars. He keeps staring at the brilliant stars with his brilliant eyes. Perhaps he is asking heaven why he has been imprisoned there. Now try to answer these questions. Is it safe to allow tigers to live in their natural habitats these days? Where is the strength of the tiger and how does he treat the visitors? How does the tiger behave at night? Why are the eyes brilliant? What is common between the eyes and the stars? Now let us see a tigress. Once the pride of Ratanpur Muchly Elias lady of the lake was a royal tigress who passed away on 18th August 2016 labeled as the most photographed tigress in the world muchly was not only beautiful but also a powerful entity who had a strong hold over her territory which included the ratanpur's palace lakes and forts of ratanpur Among the 62 tigers of Ratanpur, what made Muchly so special was her comfort level with the humans and how she held Lensman in awe of her grace. She was smart too. Despite being a female tigress, she always had a dominating nature and a powerful personality that at times used to overpower even the male tigers. She had always been protective about her kids. One of the many interesting facts about Tigress Muchly is that she won the Lifetime Achievement Award due to her contribution to conservation and tourist attraction. Yeah. 
Now let's compare the tiger in natural habitat and zoo. In the forest, it would be roaming freely around the forest. It would hide behind the grass where the tea comes and drink water. But in the zoo, the tiger doesn't show any interest in its surroundings. It is locked in a cage and was not able to show its power to the viewers.